Um, okay, people are saying they can't find an accessible break room, which is surprising to me. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I was going to say, oh, oh, wait, wait. I don't have a path, but I definitely do. There should be enough break room. Maybe there's not. How many people does the break room hold? I, is it four? Let me see here. Um, four, yes. So it holds eight people, the two of them. How many people do we have working for us right now? We got four, eight. Oh, I have nine. That's why. Okay, so there's going to be one person who can't take a break. Potentially. Okay. Uh, Suzanne asks, how's my wife and dogs doing? Doing pretty good, Suzanne. Thanks for asking. Um, we're, we're happy and healthy, so we can't complain. And also, I saw somebody ask, uh, do you guys still play GTA V? Um, when the occasion like to play arises, like if there's an update or something, we'll check it out. But, I mean, it's not something that we often go back to these days. We've kind of um, drained that well, you know what I mean? But it's fun. I mean, we have a lot of fun with it. It's just at a certain point, after we make, like, 40 episodes, people just kind of start to lose interest. I don't blame them. Okay, I'm fast-forwarding here just so I can make some money, finish research and stuff. And now we need to start thinking about the next thing that we're going to do. And honestly, I think I, the next thing I'm going to do is just keep building some of these habitats, you know? It's just a cheap and easy way to get some uh, money flowing into our park. And also to produce more little critters for us to release into the wild to earn some uh, to earn some credits. Okay. So we're going to place... What kind of critters are we going to place in here? So we got some frogs. Maybe we should keep a theme going. And have like... Uh, just um, reptiles or something. So what other kind of reptilians do we have? We've got some common death adders, which is so tough. Uh, we've got a gold female. And we've got a decent male. So we can make baby death adders. You know what? Let's do it. I'll buy you and I'll buy you. There we go. So we've got ourselves some death adders. Let's move them from the exhibit into or from the holding into their exhibit there we go and i'm sure that they're not gonna be happy with their yep so they're gonna need a lot cooler i'm gonna guess like 34 degrees and that the humidity is gonna need to be adjusted too a little lower maybe like 78 let's see if that's yep 78 is good we could probably go a little bit lower even get right in the middle and a little cooler people immediately are drawn to these death adders. I don't blame them. I mean, freaking cool, right? Okay, so we've got some death adders. We're going to want some information for my death adders. Let's go ahead and plop you guys. Oop, excuse me, people. I'm going to put one of these down on the side. There we go. Um, and then let's not forget to put down some uh, donation bins. There we go. There you go, guys. Dig deep. Common death adder. Common death adder. There we go. Okay, cool. So there we go. Um, I did put down the new mechanic shed, but I didn't actually get my new mechanic. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and buy ourselves one more mechanic. There we go. Mechanic welcome. And how are we doing on our loan, by the way? Is that paid off yet? Nearly. We're almost done paying off our loan. There we go. And check it out. Mechanic research is complete. Boom. Boom. We've got one-way glass now, guys. One-way glass. And we've got our new... Um, wow, five-star mechanic. I love it. We've got our new mechanic, so now we can start to research two things at once. I'm going to go ahead and do a classic theme research. And I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to also do an Africa research, okay? There we go. Have Hanson... Or Hassan, excuse me, Hanson. Hassan. Start to research that. Uh, and I want to also make sure that we are promoting everybody. Let's see. Are there any promotions that we can give right now? I know that Hassan can because you're the new person. Where is Hassan? Actually, you can't yet. You will be able to very shortly, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. You can get promoted. And okay, that's it. Oh, Felicity is already at five star. Excellent. Do you not have to check on their... I think that you misspelled that, May. On their sick? <laughs> Did 
Don't know, like, their health? Is that what you're asking? Perhaps. Um, jamming with jam. Thank you for those 14 months, you guys. Jam, thank you. Drop some bears. Okay, Spotted Hyena, we've learned a little bit more about them. Um, you know what? Let's learn about our animals now. Let's learn about Goliath frogs here. All right. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. I mean, as far as, like, their health goes, as long as I keep them happy and I keep their um, enclosures clean, then we're good. But that is going to be an issue soon. We are expanding our park here. Um, we're increasing the demand on our workers. Surprisingly, my keeper is still has an efficient workload. I don't know how they're balancing taking care of this entire park, but I'm going to want to get another keeper so that they're not becoming overworked. If the enclosures get too dirty, then they are definitely going to get sick, and that's going to be a problem. Um, so once we pay off the loan, basically, I'm going to... Ooh, we're going to have another spring buck. Let's go ahead and check in on my spring buck. Once I pay off the loan... Oh, cute. Look at them eating. Then I'm going to hire uh, another keeper. Okay. I want to watch you have a baby. Let's speed you up until I see you give birth. Going to happen any time now. As soon as you set down... There it is. Baby spring buck. Yay. All right. Let's take a look at you, cutie. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Look at little baby Springbok. I love you. Oh, are you a boy or a girl? You are a boy. Okay. Oh, a gold metal boy. Fantastic. Okay. So, yes, everybody. Just keeping an eye on loan now. I could just repay the loan right now if I wanted to. I think I'm going to. I'm just going to pay off the loan. That was very expensive. But now I don't need to worry about paying any more interest, you know. In the long run, I think that'll be a good idea. And I can always take out another loan if I need to. Um, so I think before we get any more animals, I'm going to want to... Ooh, the inspector left. What did the inspector have to say? Um, a couple of habitats, they weren't... Let's see. Wait, why are they starving? Excuse me. Alika was starving? I didn't get any notification that these poor, poor animals were starving. That, that makes me upset. Um, they're not starving now, are they? Alika was... Which one is Alika? Is Alika the um, wildebeest? Um, let's see. Let me look at my animals. Alika. Alika, Alika, Alika. Alika. Oh, Alika is my, uh, my boar. Excuse me. So. No, you're not... What? Maybe they, they might have been starving for like two seconds. That's... That's ridiculous. I, I am calling shenanigans on that. You, this is a kangaroo court. Kangaroo court. Uh, God, I wish that we had kangaroos. That'd be amazing. My cat bear says hi. He keeps meowing at the screen. Cute. Oh. I, I like cats when my friends have them. I, I, I couldn't keep cats myself. I mean, I have my dogs. They probably want to get along, especially Scout. She would terrorize that poor cat. But I, I, I do love visiting with cats. Um, okay, so I talked about our other keeper hut and whatnot. Um, honestly, building a keeper hut over here wouldn't be a terrible idea. So, like, maybe a keeper hut and a vet hut over here just out of um, prying eyes. So if I were to build a path, like... Uh, Right down the middle, like, plop. Oh, not that long. I think one, two, three is the magic number for us. And then... There we go. We should just be able to put two huts down. Oh, am I within the range of power and water, though? Just in range. Perfect. Ah, that's perfect. So I'm going to put down the two huts that we're going to need. Uh, facilities, we're going to need to do a keeper hut and a research center. And those should fit perfectly here. I can just put them back to back. And they should be out of range of the guests, so they shouldn't be upset about seeing them. But now I've got another area where I can... Oh, come on. Come on. You can do this. Just find... Okay, that's good enough. 
they're close enough to the um, exhibits that um, they can get to them quick enough. There we go. Perfect. Actually, that isn't perfect. That that's that's annoying. It's off. It's off kilter, and I don't like it. Um, what were we doing? We were doing the. Uh, yeah, there we go. Keep right. Okay, I wanted to line up with the back side of this. You know what I mean? Okay, that's. But also, it needs to. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, I'm not gonna let my perfectionist brain ruin this. Okay, that's good enough. So we have a keeper hut. And oh, my warthog grew up. We talked about this earlier that this warthog would warthog warthog would grow up and uh, would need to be sent away. So if I look at my animals now, where are these two little fighting warthogs? I have one here. Um, warthogs? Where are you? You know what? Animals. Um, warthogs. Okay, here we go. So we have. Adisa and Bakari. So which one is going to stay and which one's going to go? Oh, they're in the shadows. No wonder I can see them. Okay. So here we go. We got ourselves Bakari. Bakari stats, eh, not great. Um, and then Adisa, better stats. So I'm going to keep Adisa. You know what, Bakari, you've been great, but Adisa is better. And we are going to send you away. I can't release them into the uh, the wild because I purchased Adisa. You can only re release animals in the wild that you have birthed in your uh, your zoo or purchased with um, conservation credits. So now I moved them along. Oh, we've got new vet research complete. Fantastic. There we go. Learned about those Goliath frogs. Let's learn about the Death Adder now. And let's go to my animal trading because I'm just going to sell off. Bakari, okay? We're gonna do a quick trade. I only made 69 bucks off them. No big deal. But now I'm not gonna have to worry about that alpha status thing anymore. Okay, so now that I've got my new keeper hut and my new um, vet hut, I can get a new keeper and a new vet, but I wanna make sure that we can afford them before I do that, because we are very short on money right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward a bit and make sure that we're earning enough money to allow us to get ourselves the extra help that we need. All right. Use this chance just to throw some coffee down my gullet. Okay, there we go. We're making good money now. Uh, vet research is complete again, too. So we've got some information on those adders. Uh, I'm just going to let her keep researching adders. All right. And I want to wait until we get up to probably about 15K before I uh, go ahead and hire any new staff. And while we're doing that here, I'm gonna go ahead and just, oh, habitat cleanliness risk. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Um, we are definitely getting to the point now where we are gonna need more keepers. So maybe we'll go ahead and invite the new keeper on right now. Keepers, we pay, wow, this keeper, because they are so learned, we pay extra. But a brand new keeper isn't going to want that much. You can see the difference in pay between Anna, who's learned a lot, and Hassan, who hasn't learned a lot. I'm going to keep Hassan at one star for now because I really can't afford to pay them more at this point. Uh, I'm going to bring on a novice keeper. There we go. Plop them down. And so for now, my keeper... Um, they don't have work zones at the moment. I can start to give them work zones to sort of lighten the load. I don't think I'm going to assign them work zones just yet, but eventually you can. So you can say, Keeper, you're only going to take care of this zone. This Keeper is only going to take care of this zone. Right now, I'm just going to let them split the the work. I think that they'll figure it out on their own. Okay, the happy net, the habitat, I know it needs to be clean. We're going to be cleaning it. Common death adder. Oh, you know what? I should probably call the Keeper, though, just to make sure it is getting cleaned. Okay. And... Looks like we're still making money even though I hired a new keeper, which is great news. And, man, the, the park is becoming pretty full. Lots of people coming in now, which is great. As soon as I get this habitat cleaned, I will be happy. I don't want anybody getting sick. Okay, and then we did just... I keep clicking the wrong thing. There we go. We did just finish Mechanical, the classic theme. So... Researching classic themes is going to give us access to certain construction things. 
which means that we can start to add to our um, our buildings and whatnot. We can start to to build cool like enclosures around our habitats and stuff. Um, right now, what did we unlock? Researching that. If I go to zoo, and then I go to classic thing, we can actually see we unlocked 428 items in the classic pack. And then I think that we can filter by the classic pack too. Thank you, Shadows Arch, for those 14 months. Oh, we blonde now. Just noticed. Um, it's kind of. It was supposed to be like silvery blonde. Didn't turn out as silver as I'd hoped, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, so we're gonna filter. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna filter by theme, and then we're gonna go classic. So this is everything that we unlocked in the classic theme. So what's cool about this is the glass, honestly. Like, the glass walls and ceilings and stuff. I want to start making cool stuff out of those eventually, once we unlock more things. But you can see that you can like, start to make glass houses and stuff, which is very cool. Honestly, I just want the glass for the ceilings. Um, if I go roofs, are there like glass roofs that we can build? There's copper piss roofs. Here we go. Glass house roofs. This is what I wanted access to, to make some cool glass house roofs. That would be pretty bomb. And we'll do that a little bit later. I'm not going to spend much time doing that right now. I just wanted to unlock the potential and show them off there. All right. So we've got vet research completed as well. And we've got damaged barriers over here. I did hire another mechanic though, right? So these mechanics should be taking care of these things. Oh, and you know what? I did set these barriers on six month, but I didn't do that with this barrier. We should probably do every six months on this one as well. There we go. All right. So once we get these habitats taken care of, perfect. That one's getting fixed. This habitat, is it getting clean or what? Where's this keeper? Um... Okay, I think the keeper... Okay, the keeper is cleaning it up. Perfect. You can see them in there doing their thing. There you go. Cleaning it up. And the habitat is called Habitat 2, by the way, which is confusing. We can rename the habitats. Because when we get a, you know, notification that says Habitat 2, it's like, well, which one is that? So we should probably rename these to make it a bit more clear. Um, if I go... Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I can just rename it from here, can't I? Yes. So this one is going to be called the um, Zebra slash Wilda Beast. Um, that works. And this is Hyena. There we go. That's saving, right? I don't need to like click save or anything. There we go. No, it's saved. Perfect. Um, and then this one will be the uh, Wart. Hog slash Springbok. There we go. Okay, and I think those are the only ones that we need to name. Actually, I think I can name these ones too. Yeah, this one's going to be called Goliath Frog. There we go. I kind of wish that it would automatically name itself based off of what you put in here. That would be very cool. And this one will be called Death Adder. Cool. There we go. So that'll make things a lot easier to, to sort through. Do you and the Stump Crew share this Twitch channel? Yes, we do. This is the main sh uh, Stump channel. Um, like, we would love to have our individual channels, and we do have them. Like, we... Oh, you know what? We had frogs. I will discuss that in a little bit. The frogs, if I go to Zoopedia, I think these frogs, they like to just be in pairs. Why did the Zoopedia dis disappear? Let's try that one more time. Um, animals. There we go. Zoopedia. There we go. So, yeah... Group size one to two, and they just had babies, so now there's four of them. So we'll want to sort through the babies real quick. Um, if I go animals and I go find the froggies, there we go. So we had two new frogs, two new baby girls. Um, and what I usually do is just find out which ones are worth keeping. Um, so Taikia is 83 or 50%, 83%. And then Safia is ooh Safia not so good you're gonna have to go girl um and then Seda is ooh those fertility genes are bad what's the fertility gene of Papa like okay that's wise because your fertility gene is so bad you're making things worse here but I can release you into the wild there we go I'll get six conservation credits there we go 
There we go. So before I was uh, doing that, I was talking about how we have our own individual channels um, that we just we we've gotten so that you know we can have them. Um, but you know, you guys are kind enough to subscribe and drop bits and stuff, and we don't want to make you subscribe and drop bits to five different channels. You know what I mean? So that's why we uh, we don't really use those channels so much. Okay, so staff members um, are going to need another break room here because we're getting so many people working for us. There we go. Let's got we've, – we've learned as much as we can about Death Adders. So let's go ahead and learn about – you know what? Let's learn about Warthogs now. And I am really proud of us because we've done a good job keeping our animals healthy. 